Hi, Matt from Smart Online Tutoring here, and I want to show you another great feature that you can use with Zoom, and that's screen recording. So here you can see I've opened up my Zoom application, and again you have the option to start without a video or with a video. So if you want to do a video call for your lessons, just click here and it will start. And here you can see uh, the video is running. I'm using the computer audio. And I have the option here to click record. So if I click this button here, everything that uh, is within this screen is now being recorded. So if I share the screen, um, for example, the desktop, everything is available to see on the screen here. So, as you can see, this is a very useful function um, for recording your lessons so that your students can have access to either the information you shared on the screen um, or pronunciation practice, anything like that. So, as before, you can annotate um, when you're recording. So, any of the normal features um, you can use here um, on the screen as well. It's all being recorded. So if you want to stop the recording, um, you can simply come back down to here where it says pause or stop recording. So there's the option to pause. So at the moment, this would freeze the recording. Um, if you say only wanted to record a part of your lesson, um, and if you want to finish the recording completely at the end of the lesson, for example, just click the stop recording button. And uh, it says here, you notice in the top right hand corner, the recording file will be converted to MP4 um, when you end the meeting. So as soon as I click this end meeting here, um, the recording is saved and you can see here um, that it needs to be converted for viewing. Um, this takes a, a little while depending on the length of your video um, and you can access this file um, by double clicking the zoom file in the recording folder and I can play the recording here everything that uh, is within this screen is now being recorded so you can see the recording is now saved um, actually a really handy feature here um, is that it offers you an audio only version of the recording I click this button here everything that uh, is within this screen so you could send um, a smaller file, um, this one's only a megabyte, you can see, whereas the video is larger. Um, so maybe you might only want to offer an audio recording of the lesson if you don't want to use the whole video function. And that automatically saves to your documents folder. So that's the super useful function of Zoom plus recording for your online tutoring lessons.